most important thing any white feminist can do is educate herself and listen and engage with the experiences of women of color without silencing them. Because sometimes as white ladies, we just have to shut the fuck up. Dear white women, listen. Your only play in this, if you value your life, is to shut the f up. Listen exclusively to black, brown, and indigenous women, femmes, and non-men. Throw every resource you have and use your privilege to back us in every way. I have to say it. White women. Yes, specifically white women only. White females get no political support. They are mistreated and hated by both the right and the left. And oftentimes, white women are a scapegoat and are blamed for other people's problems. Men want to blame women for the societal problems and conflicts men themselves caused. And black women and black people in general want to blame white women for their supposed oppression. The conservative patriarchal white men in America obviously want to make their own women feel inferior because they are women and tell them that they should be subservient to men and should not be empowered or have careers and a lot of them even believe that women should not have the right to vote. So white women get misogynistic abuse from right-wingers. On the other hand, with the left-wingers, even though they claim they support female empowerment, they want to make white women feel guilty because they are white, and they put the feelings of men of color over the well-being of white women, and perhaps women in general. Otherwise, those men who punched those women in New York recently would have been punished adequately. And don't even get me started on how they also put the trans community over the well-being of women. But that's another topic. My point is, there's always someone from both political groups that like to resent and mistreat cisgender white women. On the right, white women are disrespected for being women. And on the left, white women are disrespected for being white. It's as simple as that. And you've all heard of the word Karen. Now I have come to agree that term was indeed specifically invented to degrade white women and white women only. Everyone wants to call white women Karens when they act up and want to stereotype that as a typical white woman behavior. Are you seriously going to tell me that you've never seen a loud angry black woman making a scene about stupid stuff before? Do you think that is even less common than white women acting like that? What's also ironic is that you see all these black people stereotyping white women as being racist Karens, while these conservative white men are accusing white women of selling out their race and being race traitors. White women just can't win, and these black feminists need to stop accusing white feminists of being racist. The vast majority of white women who are feminists whether they are liberal feminists or radical feminists, bend over backwards to not offend black women and to be inclusive of all races of women. Sorry to say this, but it's more commonly the black feminists who seem racist themselves, accusing white women of being oppressors and privileged and stuff like that. But it's not white women who are the ones oppressing black women and doing black women wrong. It's not white women who are raping, abusing, murdering black women, or leaving black women single mothers. It's their own men. Patriarchy is a far bigger problem than white supremacy. On average, white women are more respectful and supportive of black people than black men are respectful and supportive of women. White women, including the ones who call themselves feminists, are known to speak up for other races of people, and even BLM. They stand up for George Floyd, a black male. And what do these women get in return? A lot of these black and Hispanic men committing violent crimes against them, punching them on the streets and murdering them. It's a shame that so many white women have white guilt, but none of these non-white men have male guilt. Again, white women are more respectful towards black men 
that black men are respectful to white women. You don't believe me? Why is it considered taboo and unacceptable for a white person to say the N-word? And most white women agree that it's a terrible word to say. But it's not considered taboo for a man to call a woman a bitch or a bunch of other slurs that I'm not going to mention. Just look at how common it is for black men to call women bitches and hoes. To me, it seems like the average black male is actually more privileged than the average white female. The problem is not white supremacy. It's male supremacy, the patriarchy, that is the problem. The 400 years of oppression blacks went through is nothing compared to the millions of years of oppression women went through and still go through to this day under Muslim countries. The hate crimes that happen to specific races is nothing compared to the rate men murder women every year, even in developed countries. This video is not an attack on black women, by the way. I'm not saying white women need a movement specifically for themselves. I'm just saying that anti-whiteism within feminism needs to end, and white women shouldn't be used as a scapegoat because they are pretty much already screwed over by both the left and the right. Women from all races must unite and put the female sex first and stop segregating each other by race. And they should not pander to any man because of his race. Again, male supremacy is the problem, not white supremacy.